Imagine you are driving down the road, and suddenly, an out-of-control car speeds past you, followed by a swarm of police cars with flashing lights and sirens. Do you feel nervous and worried? Street chases are not only stunning spectacles, they are also tense moments where everyone's safety is at stake. Why do drivers take such terrible risks? And what consequences will come after that recklessness? Let's learn thrilling stories from the most dangerous chases on the streets. A high-speed chase ended in tragedy when the driver of a stolen car failed to regain consciousness after a forceful intervention by police in Sheridan. Despite initial attempts to stop the car, the driver ignored the officers and sped away, endangering bystanders. When the situation became too serious, an officer was forced to make a decisive stop, causing the car to overturn and be thrown out of the lane. The driver could not be revived, while a passenger sustained injuries and authorities found stimulants in the vehicle. Imagine you're driving on the highway and everything is going smoothly until you suddenly witness an unbelievable chase between the police and a stolen truck. In Miami-Dade on August 1st, authorities spotted a stolen black pickup truck. Police tracked the vehicle as it headed south on Interstate 95 before entering the Palmetto Expressway. When the car stopped on Northwest 7th Avenue, police asked the driver to roll down all the windows, but he suddenly accelerated and fled. The pickup hit a Mercedes and continued weaving through lanes, nearly colliding with several other vehicles. Approaching the Golden Glades intersection, the driver collided with three other vehicles and then drove in the opposite direction, crashing into a cargo truck, causing the truck to overturn and lie on the grass shoulder of Highway 91. When the police approached, the driver tried to leave the car but refused to stop and was eventually arrested. Joseph Samuel Giannino, 35, now faces multiple charges, including fleeing, vehicle theft, and driving with a suspended license, having previously been on probation for similar offenses. On March 6, 2021, while patrolling in Fulton County, police spotted a black and red Dodge Charger speeding. When officers activated emergency lights and began pursuit, the driver accelerated, attempting to evade the pursuing officers. During the pursuit, the driver violated multiple red lights and collided with a vehicle stopped at a red light after attempting to make a left turn and losing control, nearly hitting three pedestrians. Officers ordered the driver, Jimmy Turner, to exit the vehicle and arrested him without further incident. The crash between the Dodge and other vehicles was handled on site, and Turner was later taken to Fulton County Jail. <laughs> Around 2.12 a.m., the North Little Rock Police Department requested assistance in a pursuit on I-440W. 
While engaging in the pursuit, officers successfully executed a stop maneuver, causing the suspect vehicle to crash into a concrete wall and come to a stop. The driver jumped from the concrete wall approximately 50 feet down, causing a severe fall from which he was unable to get up. Police quickly requested medical assistance, but subject one was declared apneic at UAM's hospital. Meanwhile, a passenger surrendered upon stopping and was taken into custody without injury. The vehicle was impounded at the request of the North Little Rock Police Department. Ever wondered how police handle intense chases on the streets? Let's explore the thrilling situations right now. At 10.07 a.m. on May 25, 2020, Georgia State Patrol assisted the Savannah Police Department in a pursuit involving a white Ford Econoline van with a stolen license plate. The driver sped up and nearly struck the guardrail, prompting police to execute a precision immobilization technique, PIT, flipping the van and ending the chase. Driver Melinda Flakes exited the vehicle and attempted to flee, but was later apprehended. Passenger Christopher Jones was released after it was confirmed he had no outstanding warrants. Okay. I don't care. Stop resisting and we'll get you off your stomach. During the vehicle inspection, police found a burned glass pipe related to stimulants. Flakes was arrested for driving under the influence and refusing a blood test. After treatment at a hospital, she was taken to Chatham County Jail, where she provided false information about her identity. On December 9th, 2023, the Kent County Sheriff spotted a stolen Dodge Durango at a Miger store on 17 Mile Road. When Sheriff Ziamkowski attempted to stop the vehicle, the driver fled. The Michigan State Patrol took over the pursuit, performing two pit maneuvers that nearly flipped the vehicle, but the suspect continued to flee on foot. Copy, good pit, roll, we'll get medical. Northbound, northbound. Copy, it's going back northbound. Good pit, good pit. We're gonna get him blocked in. Copy, getting him blocked in. Police eventually apprehended the suspect with a taser after a brief chase. The situation highlights the serious consequences of fleeing the law. Someone try to kill me. Please. Please, no. I need your help, please. Please. On December 31st, 2023, FHP trooper David Blake spotted a black Dodge Charger speeding at 89 miles per hour in a 45 miles per hour zone in Lee County, Florida. When Trooper Blake attempted to stop the vehicle, the driver, Edward, not only failed to slow down, but accelerated away, running a red light and driving in the wrong direction at approximately 120 miles per hour. After notifying the regional communication center of the pursuit, the charger lost control and struck a sign before coming to a stop. The driver jumped into the passenger seat in an attempt to escape arrest, but his actions did not escape the attention of the police. Edward was arrested, and police found 16.13 ounces of stimulants in the vehicle. Edward now faces multiple charges, including fleeing police and possession of a controlled substance.
At around 11.48 p.m. on July 16, 2024, Officer Aizen de Suyo observed Officer Frank Flores attempting to stop a gray BMW. The BMW refused to comply and accelerated to 85 miles per hour, forcing Flores to perform a pit maneuver, causing the car to hit a barrier. The driver, Damery Winston Whittingham, showed signs of intoxication, admitting he had been drinking vodka and was driving from West Palm Beach to Fort Lauderdale. Whittingham was arrested and faces several charges, including driving under the influence and failing to obey police in Palm Beach County, Florida. Remember, everyone has a responsibility to protect their own life and the lives of others on the road. So, if you've been drinking, choose a safer mode of transportation. Face the wall for me, okay? On your back. At 11.35 p.m. on April 6, 2024, the North Little Rock Police Department was pursuing a black Toyota Camry with Arkansas license plate AHX32Y exceeding 100 miles per hour on Interstate 30. Arkansas State Police were called in for support and Trooper Blaine Lucas intercepted the vehicle at mile marker 139 by executing a Tactical Vehicle Intervention TVI causing the suspect's car to crash into a concrete barrier and stop. The driver was arrested without further incident and the scene was handed over to the North Little Rock Police Department with photos for reporting. On July 16, 2024, the Michigan State Police Aviation Unit spotted a suspect fleeing in a stolen black Dodge Durango. During the pursuit, the vehicle violated multiple traffic laws, reaching speeds up to 120 miles per hour and running red lights. After the Durango crashed into an abandoned building, the driver fled, but was quickly apprehended by Trooper Magia and Detroit Police Department officers as he tried to open another SUV. Have you ever wondered how police handle tense chases on the streets? Let's explore some thrilling situations right now. The chase began when two suspects fled from authorities on Interstate 95 in Brevard County on a Saturday. Police discovered the vehicle around 3.13 p.m. when Crosby began driving recklessly, swerving between other vehicles without regard for everyone's safety, dot the police initiated a pursuit after the suspects attempted to flee from a traffic stop. The chase quickly ended when the police successfully executed a pity maneuver as the vehicle attempted to pass FHP in the emergency lane, putting an end to the suspect's reckless driving. Adam Crosby, 21, and passenger Samantha Simpson, 30, were arrested shortly afterward and faced various charges. On October 20th, 2022, the Federal Bureau of Investigation requested assistance in apprehending a suspect from Indiana, Irvin M. Roberson, 36, in Gwinnett County, Georgia. 
When Roberson left his residence in a 2022 Dodge Ram, police attempted to stop him, but he began fleeing at high speed, driving recklessly and endangering pedestrians. The police executed two PIT maneuvers to stop the pursuit, but Roberson continued to evade capture. Eventually, he crashed into another vehicle at the intersection of GA20 and Samples, bringing his vehicle to a stop. As he tried to flee on foot, he was apprehended by the police. He was then transferred to the FBI for prosecution on charges related to the incident. The crash resulted in minor injuries, and the entire chase lasted 6.9 miles. On the night of June 6, 2024, police were stopping vehicles on Interstate 40 when they spotted an SUV traveling at 86 miles per hour in a 65 miles per hour zone. When police signaled the driver to stop, the driver, Alex Wilson, failed to comply and fled. During the pursuit, the SUV was driven recklessly and the driver discarded a bag containing illegal substances from the vehicle. After executing a TVI maneuver, the vehicle crashed into a ditch. The driver was handcuffed, and police discovered a total of $609, along with various controlled substances in the vehicle. The driver, Nicholas Papacristo from Jonesboro, Arkansas, was charged with multiple offenses, including reckless driving and obstructing governmental operations. This incident reminds us of the importance of adhering to traffic laws to ensure everyone's safety. Fond du Lac police discovered a stolen vehicle and immediately attempted to stop it, but the reckless driver sped away, igniting a tense chase. In a surprising moment, the vehicle suddenly stopped and two passengers quickly exited prompting police to arrest a 41-year-old woman and a 35-year-old man. Just minutes later, a deputy from the Fond du Lac Sheriff's Office spotted the vehicle again. However, the car refused to stop, leading to a new chase through various streets of the city, 
before the vehicle crashed head-on into a deputy squad car outside the Love Tourism Center. Both the squad and the suspect's vehicle were heavily damaged, but fortunately, no one was injured. The 32-year-old man from Milwaukee was arrested and faced serious consequences for his bold and reckless actions. We'll get you an ambulance, okay? I'm trying to focus. Hey, what's your name, bud? Derek Triplett. Derek. Can you write this down? Derek? Derek Triplett. Spell it for me. Spell your... Spell it, please. Yep. Call fire department. All right, thank you. The suspect driving the BMW seemed to know how to exploit the car's power, weaving and speeding through the congested highway at breakneck speeds. While GSP units struggled to keep up, the vehicle flew deep into Atlanta in a dangerous and dramatic chase. The pursuit began when police spotted the BMW 6 Series, exceeding an astonishing speed of 108 miles per hour in a 65 miles per hour zone. Despite signals to pull over, the suspect recklessly fled, running red lights and racing ahead, but strangely did not fully utilize the car's sharp handling. This fatal mistake allowed police to catch up, executing a spectacular PIT maneuver that spun the BMW around, crashing it into a parked Cadillac. In a strange moment, the Escalade suddenly rolled and left the scene leaving a big question mark about why the driver decided to hide instead of facing the police. A dramatic chase has been released that left many breathless as video footage captured the incident on a busy Florida highway on May 19th. Authorities were chasing five reckless teenagers who were attempting to steal a car from Fort Lauderdale. Dashcam footage from the Florida Highway Patrol recorded every tense moment as the SUV sped down I-95. Just minutes later, the situation turned violent when the driver lost control, causing the SUV to flip into the air and crash into a wall. Landing upside down in a scene of devastation, the car was completely destroyed, stopping in front of the FHP cruiser, making anyone who witnessed it shudder. Dot. Although the teenagers suffered serious injuries, they survived, serving as a stark lesson about the severe consequences of reckless actions. A 32-year-old man, Quinton Yarnall Larks, committed two home robberies in Riverside, California, and then fled in an Amazon truck. During his escape, he caused several collisions with other vehicles, injuring some people slightly. In his attempt to get away, Larks crashed into multiple moving cars and ultimately had to abandon the vehicle to flee on foot, but couldn't get past a security barrier and was arrested by police, causing significant damage to surrounding vehicles. Larks is currently held at the Robert Presley Detention Center with a bail set at $1 million and faces several serious charges, including conspiracy to commit aggravated assault, armed robbery, and driving under the influence, endangering others.
On April 10, 2020, at approximately 6.38 a.m., the Sebastian County Sheriff's Office requested assistance to pursue a black pickup truck that had run several traffic lights and was recklessly driving on the shoulder of U.S. Highway 71. The chase began in the Ingersoll Circle area, with multiple officers involved in the effort to stop the vehicle using the PT technique. And is backing out and leaving it with 13 of them. After several evasive maneuvers by the driver, the Ellis police successfully executed a pit maneuver at the intersection of US 71 and State Highway 255, resulting in a collision between the police vehicle and the suspect's vehicle. Although emergency services arrived on the scene, the suspect did not survive due to injuries from the crash, highlighting the risks faced by law enforcement in such emergency situations. Fortunately, we crashed out here right. 27. A tense police chase in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, when five adventurous teens in an Infinity QX60 stole a car from a garage, quickly turned into a street tragedy. After crashing into a cyclist, these teenagers continued to weave through traffic during rush hour, showing recklessness and thoughtlessness. Their luck quickly ran out when they collided with a Honda CRV, causing the Infiniti to roll over catastrophically and crash into a police patrol car. The suspects were immediately detained by the police, On March 22, 2022, deputies from the Florence County Sheriff's Office attempted to stop a pickup truck for a traffic violation on northbound I-95 near mile marker 165. When the driver was asked to step out of the vehicle, the passenger suddenly jumped into the driver's seat and boldly accelerated away, leading to a tense chase. Tragically, the pursuit ended when the pickup truck abruptly turned onto the 169 exit ramp at TV Road and violently rear-ended a tractor trailer, causing the driver of the pickup truck to not survive this accident. Fortunately, no officers were injured and county property was undamaged, serving as a stark reminder of the importance of obeying traffic laws to ensure everyone's safety on the road. At 8.59 p.m. on October 15, 2024, 
Time Communications received an emergency call from the Sherwood Police Department regarding a car chase heading west on I-40. Officers Corbin Freeman and Robert Plyler immediately moved to I-30, where the car was speeding through a construction zone on the Arkansas River Bridge. At the intersection of I-630EB and I-30WB, they joined the pursuit with heightened tension. After a successful technical intervention to stop the car, they pinned the car, but driver Jordan Norris refused to get out. When officers confronted him and pulled him out through the window, a member of the team was injured in the left pinky finger. After subduing Norris and transporting the vehicle to the police department, officers drove to Baptist Health Medical Center for treatment, where a broken finger was determined to have been sustained. Images from the scene and the injuries are still haunting, capturing a dramatic and tense night. <laughs> 